Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Heart to Heart with Hads. I'm so glad to have you here. If you just watched on YouTube, I just did like a little thing with my hand. Um, I do use my hands a lot. I don't know why, but when I talk and everything, it's just kind of second nature. Anyways, I feel like it's been a really long time since I've recorded, but it really hasn't. It's just because my last weekend, these last Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, four days have been so busy and I'm just exhausted from them and I didn't even do anything. I was just there for support. So if you don't know, obviously I do bodybuilding, like I'm involved in the bodybuilding world. Um, and I do compete and one of my good friends, one of my best friends, actually, she competed. We both have the same coach, shout out Dan, team icon, and she competed in Oklahoma this weekend. So I actually took off work Friday and I went with her and her husband down to, why did I say Oklahoma City? We were in Tulsa. I don't know why I get them too, like, different, confused. Probably because my show was in Oklahoma City, and I know they have one, they have others around like Tulsa, Oklahoma City. Anywho, it was such a good weekend, and it just was a great reminder of how much I do genuinely love this sport. Like, I barely spent time on my phone the whole time we were there because I'm just so intrigued into the sport itself, and I just love supporting my friend. Lakin because she is just a freak like if you have seen her physique it's amazing and she works extremely hard and it's just been awesome because I've been beside her throughout this prep just cheering her on and she has sent me her prep updates like every single week basically um her check-in pictures her weight all of that and every week I'm like damn like you think it you think she's good one week and then the next check-in she sends me I'm like oh this is even better so anyways she did really well um well let me just back up a little bit she and kind of just tell how we met I want her to come on this podcast so I don't want to like spill it but basically we met at the gym and then she supported me throughout my first prep and I supported her throughout hers but she was just I did the same thing with her, like, sent her all my check-ins. She was so supportive. So she really gets me. We get each other. And it was so weird. It was so crazy. For my show in Oklahoma, my number was 113. And what do you know? Her number was 113. So it was just so weird. And we also have very um, special needs dogs. (laughs) Like, both have Frenchies. Hers is... Like, will not grow past 10 pounds, probably. And has, like, hydrocephalus, which is, like, big head. Um, And I think Steel has a little bit of that, too. But Steel has seizures. They have issues. Both of them are just, like, little special needs dogs. So, they're girlfriend, boyfriend. But she freaking lives in California. So, very unfortunate we don't really see each other. But we do FaceTime. I would say, like, pretty often whenever we have time. I know she's really tired on prep. Anyways, recap of this show. It was just a great weekend with her and her husband and um, Dan and Sam. Shout out the best humans ever. Ashley, um, we just had a great time. So I love it. I love supporting my people and cheering them on. And it's just a very wholesome weekend and it's just one of those things that's like I go to bed so fulfilled from just being around such great people such positive people and positive environment so I just really love that it's just amazing and very grateful to have all of those people in my corner and Lakin actually won her class and probably should have won not probably she should have Won the overall, but I think she probably got second, which is quite unfortunate. But nonetheless, she's still qualified for nationals. She's still going to go to nationals next week. And I'm going to go with her. Well, I'm going to meet her there. But I'm really excited to actually go to a national level show. 
just because it's a whole different caliber from a regional show. I've been to the Olympia and I watched it from afar, but going to a show where the caliber of every single athlete there being so extreme is just going to light a fire underneath me to want to compete again soon. And this past weekend actually did that for me too, but I was like, you know what, slow down. Like you have still a long ways to go, a lot of muscle to put on, a lot of gut health things to get under control, which have gotten very much better. So it's on the upward there. You know, I'm just thinking about the positives, not the negatives of it. And just really just trying to be present and positive with that whole thing. And then just like trying to recover better, um, which will take time. So I'm not going to rush and do a show or anything like that. But definitely did just lay a fire underneath my butt for, you know, continuing to climb on this journey and it was a long weekend I didn't get enough sleep and all of that good stuff <sighs> yawning it's coming but nonetheless it was amazing and I'm excited for not this weekend but next weekend I'm gonna be right back into it getting to go to that national show and just see everyone like I know there will be a lot of people that I also look up to that will be there and I think it will be so exciting and another just fire under my butt to want to keep improving every little thing so that being said oh and then yesterday my boyfriend played in a golf tournament so I also took off work that day so I could watch him because usually the tournaments he plays in are during the week when I'm at work and this one just happened to be at home where I live and it was great because all the other ones he's been traveling to so this one was just nice to go and watch and that wore me out because I don't know how many steps I got probably around 15,000 I was just dead dead as a doornail I'm still dead I'm trying to get to bed sooner I'm trying to really focus on my sleep lately that's been a huge thing for me which is really hard because with my job I am I have to be at work by 45 9 so I'm having to get up at 5 30 to go to the gym and it's just there's not enough time in the day to do every single thing I need to do so with that being said I'm just gonna drop a very big life change right now I am no longer working my nine-to-five job I put in my notice okay and it was really hard because I do like the environment I like the company I work for but it just wasn't serving me was not fitting me and my lifestyle needs as far as growing my coaching business, which has actually taken off so much in this past year. And I want to fully be able to dive into that. And I'm fortunate enough that I live at home and I have that freedom to not have to stress about things like rent or payment of a house or things like that. Now, that is a goal of mine to live out on my own, but I want to be able to pour into myself and into my business and all of that before I can really feel like I have the capabilities to do that and live out on my own. So I just talked to my mom. I had a hard heart with her. Heart to heart. <laughs> um, and I told her, I was like, mom, like, I don't think you understand how bad my my health is declining because I'm piling so much on my plate. I'm doing things that aren't serving me exactly how I want and I'm not here to tell you to like go quit your job or anything like that but I'm here to tell you is if you have a passion if you have a why for something you have to be able to really put your all into it and pour your all into it and I felt like I was just not being able to give a hundred at that job plus a hundred at this job like it was like just like I don't know how to explain it And I was just thinking, I have to go all in if I want to see this come to fruition. And my mom was like, I will support you. My boyfriend said he will support me. Everyone that I talked to was like, we will support you. And your stress and your health is more important than having two different incomes. Like, And I've just had to come to that realization is that 
money is also not everything. And I'm not even saying that I was making a ton of money, but I would feel like I was pretty, I'm pretty well off for my age and just taking one income out is going to be not hard, but, you know, just something that will help me strive more to really push with growing my business and my coaching and improving the lives of others that I'm around. But I feel like, like I said, I can't pour myself in. I can't pour myself into others if I'm not fully pouring into myself. And to be able to fully lead at the capacity that I want to, I have to dig deep and really find myself and work on myself. And I can't do that whenever I'm going 90 miles a minute doing things that don't support my long-term goals. So with that being said, full-time coach coming soon. I am transitioning over to that and I am no longer coaching with I- Team Icon. Nothing bad blood happened there. Um, just me wanting to start my own business, you know, pursue my own passion of coaching and I'm not even going to lie, like, starting your own business is a lot more challenging than I had originally thought. And I feel like that's that's growth in itself, too, because I didn't know what to expect. But you learn as you go, and you just have to know that it's going to take time. And I'm fully aware that it'll take time, patience, dedication, and it's not going to be not going to be easy at all but i'm excited for my future ahead and just being able to really pour into me look more inward on me and myself and i know it will only help my relationships and those around me being able to do what i want do my purpose and really live it through um so yeah that's just kind of the recap there i'm still Team Icon athlete. Dan is still my coach and I love him and Sam. They are two of the greatest people that I genuinely know and both of them push me to my best and just tell me how it is like you know and that's what I like that's what I need in my life so very fortunate for that but that's it for the episode. No, I'm just kidding. I actually have some notes of some things that I wanted to talk about today because my heart to heart with you today is that some things just like do not need to be said. And like, I mean this from an outside view of people are going to have opinions of you. They're going to say things to you that are going to, that may deter you from your goals and just a complete opinion that's like so irrelevant to you it may be a little relevant but i don't know let me just explain so um basically just this situation i'm not even going to just go into it but i was just annoyed with it and i was like okay well this is a good point actually but it doesn't fit me in why are you looking so much into my life about this certain thing? Like it doesn't affect you for one. For two, I'm not complaining about it. Like this is the lifestyle that I chose. And for three, like it doesn't matter. Like what I do, what you do as a person doesn't matter, should not matter to anyone else if it's not affecting them. And I just find it so annoying that people are still out there trying to like inflict their opinion on you whenever first they don't know anything about you or your situation or your circumstances or your life and they're just looking at it from an outside lens and so I think that's where social media becomes a really big issue in the point of like you showing your food you showing your lifestyle da, 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 but you don't sometimes you don't see someone else outside of fitness and outside of going to the gym and things like that. And it's like, I do have a life outside of that, but I choose really not to share that much of it because I don't know. I just, I don't want people like in my private things like that. I feel like I share 
majority of things and but I don't I don't know I don't share everything and I don't share like my personal stuff or like every little detail and I feel like people just think I'm fully like strictly restricted on my food and everything I do and it's like it's not like that you just don't know but even if you did know it doesn't matter and your opinions don't matter to me so that was my just that's just gonna be my little rant and I wanted to just kind of piggyback off that for this episode because I feel like it's pretty relevant to my point of what you do does not have to make sense to anybody else and Hold your ground to your dreams and your visions, okay? And I just have some notes written down on how, like, some practical little tips for staying true to you, staying true to your dreams despite other people's opinions. So, first of all, you have to know your why. You have to have a clear definition of your why for your goals and your dreams. Write them down. Look at them daily. And... Just keep practicing that. Whenever you're making any type of decisions, know your why, okay? And that why doesn't have to involve anybody else. It should just involve you. We're not doing this for the validation of others. We're doing it for ourselves. Okay, another thing. Confidence. Build your self-confidence. So, in order to build your self-confidence and build confidence overall, you have to keep the promises that you make to yourself and you have to celebrate those small little wins the positive affirmations talking nice to yourself to reinforce that self-belief that confidence okay and that's a little bit hard to do for some people is doing the things that they say they're going to do and this just takes time little by little you'll get better with this Okay, this is a huge one on staying true to yourself and not letting others' opinions get you. Set freaking boundaries. Tell people. Tell them respectfully when their opinions are not valid. Like, respectfully, like, you can tell someone, respectfully, I love you, like, you're great, but I'm doing this for me, okay? You, what you say, what you do, it doesn't matter because this is my life. And people's like value or views of you should not matter when it comes to making decisions. And not only that, you don't have to tell people your business either. And I think like going back to the social media thing, that's a lot of our freaking issues is we feel the need we need to share Every gosh darn thing that goes on in our life. And so then you're just opening the door for people to make opinions about you. Now, with that being said, I do share a lot. I do share my fitness. I do share my food. I do share my troubles, my struggles with things like mental health, stress, fitness related things. And that's just because I want people to relate to me. But when it comes to other things like materialistic things or just every single little thing I'm doing in my life and what I do in my own personal time, like my relationship. I don't really like sharing those types of things. And the people that do share those, not only that, people that always are sharing their opinions like on Facebook or Instagram or things like that, it's like you're bound and determined to have people comment and come at you. But if you're just simply sharing your lifestyle in the hopes of someone relating to you and helping you out, then I I don't know. I feel like those are two different things, okay? Nonetheless, people are always going to have their opinions, and that's just life, but you can't let it get to you. You cannot let that shit get to you. And another thing, too, like, limit that social media or whatever exposure to that person if you don't want, if you don't want that, and if you want to stand your ground full full and firm you have to just cut that negativity out or limit it at least spend less time on your phone on social media and just around that person communicating with them all of that another thing too is community is everything 
you have to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. People that have the same type of goals as you. And I'm not saying like, you should only be friends with your bodybuilder friends or you should only be friends with your work friends. Like, no, people that have aspirations that are bigger and better than majority of people, surround yourself with them. Though The people that are the outliers, the ones that are pushing you to be your best, spend time with them. You want people in your corner that are going to push you to be harder. Not those ones that are like, oh, you're too hardcore. Like, no, I want someone to be like, I mean, honestly, you could step it up a bit. Um, And I just love that. I love that constant push in the ass. I don't want a little, you're too hardcore, or a little pat on the back. I don't know. I've always just been a little bit more, what do I want to say? A hard ass? And that's fine. It comes from my parents pushing me to be my best when I was younger, and I it's been instilled in me, but I also have that internal drive too. So going back to that, like find those types of people that are going to push you to be better and not just keep you right here. We want to keep building up higher and higher. So I feel like that's another big one. What else did I have written down? Mm. Just stay persistent and then learn from the criticism so use it to fuel your fire whatever you hear obviously take good feedback um from those but the criticism and the opinions from others i mean use it to fuel you use it to propel you look at me the comments that i've gotten or sometimes get they propel me forward they make me want to strive to be even better and do more and Just continue to live down the path that I want to live down, despite what they may think. And like I keep saying, what you do doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. So once you keep practicing that resilience and keeping that in the front of your head, the more better you're going to feel. Now, I'm I'm not the best at this by any means, but I've gotten so much better at just realizing like, hey, this it is what it is. Like, I'm protecting my peace and I'm just going to be confident with my answer and my choices and my feelings and I'm just going to full send it and it's hard but can't let the opinions of others or the fear of what somebody else is going to say or think hold you. What's that one, um, I think, it remind, I think it's from like another Cinderella story, but the, the quote is actually from a, um, I think like a famous baseball player, but it's like, don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. And you just have to think of it like that. Yeah, you may strike out whatever you're doing in life, but you can't let it deter you from trying or giving it your all because you never really know unless you try. And I know that's not really um, the focus of this episode. But at the same time, like, you just have to be resilient with your goals, and your aspirations, and be resilient um, despite that criticism, despite that feedback. Oh, this is a good one. Avoid comparisons. So, stop comparing others journey to your own focus keep your eyes narrow onto your path and your path only your decisions have to be made based on your values what aligns with you and your morals whatever is happening on around you you have to block that out okay it's not cool to compare your day one to someone's day 500 or whatever it may be. I'm just thinking, this is just an example, but now that I've, you know, branched off onto my own coaching, um, I look to Dan as, wow, he is someone that I genuinely look up to as a, not only a coach, a friend, but a business owner. Like, But I'm not comparing my journey to his because we're in two totally different spots. It's okay to 
look up to people, but you can't compare. You have to stay exactly where you're at and be authentic with with what you're doing because you're never going to be like anybody else when it comes to your philosophies, your morals, the way you think, what you do. So just stay true to you. Like you are your own person and you just have to know that what am I trying to say? You're you're you and it is what it is. I didn't even I don't even know where I was going off with that. I just kind of got distracted. Um but reflect. This is another good one. You have to reflect on your path and sometimes the path that you're taking may not be exactly where you want to go and you may need to adjust and you may need to pivot and you may need to try something new but you have to have some sort of reflection okay maybe it's a monthly reflection a daily reflection what did I do today that I can improve upon tomorrow but no matter what um, it's super important just to have that help propel you forward help make adjustments and really discover who you are and where you're going to go. Oh, this is a good one. You got to have some thick skin, okay? And what I mean by this is you don't have to, I'm not saying that you're not allowed to show emotion or cry or have all these things but when it comes to standing your ground you have to know that like I said in the beginning people are gonna have opinions of you you gotta you gotta show that you are resilient and you are tough and you're strong and no matter what life what curveballs what people say about you you're gonna see you're going to keep plugging along keep chugging along And just block out that outside noise. You have to know that what people are saying is not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them and their insecurities. Because if they really didn't have anything better to do with their time, if they really, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but people are always going to shit on you and... It's a reflection of them and their insecurities, like I said, has nothing to do with you. So you keep doing what you're doing. You wear that tough skin, you wear that coat, and know, like, detach from those negative opinions. Focus on the constructive ones, but use it as fuel, like I had said. Okay, this is another good one that I'm going to wrap this little portion up with is... You have to continue learning. And this is not just within like career. This is within life in general. Someone who is continuously learning and adapting day in, day out will be able to stay on their path towards their goals and where they are intended to go. It boosts your confidence. Not only that, but your knowledge. You're gaining knowledge. You're continuously adapting, evolving, and growing. And that's helping you stay within your path and stay grounded to where you are. So I know that was kind of a lot that I just kind of rambled off. But those are the little bit of notes that I had written down for the pod. And I may have had a couple more Um things that I wanted to discuss but for the most part like I said in the beginning what you do does not make sense to anybody else and I guess that could kind of tie into with like me going off and pursuing my own business and my passion is I'll just tell you straight up I was scared to that job 
and that's okay. I'm, I just had to confide in some of my friends and my mom and just some of my other relationships, close friendships that it doesn't matter. Like I have to do what's best for me, what's best for my health and just stand my ground, do what I have been wanting to do for so long now and know that I can do. I have this deep, huge passion for helping others and impacting them to live healthier lifestyles, but also to just learn more about themselves and who they are as a person, help them build their confidence. And that's what I truly want to do. And I just think that me sticking my sticking to my word of this is what I've wanted to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. Has just, I don't know. It's just a wave has came over me. I don't know if it's from me going to church and kind of putting my trust into God. And I've been praying more about things. And I just felt like here recently, God has put so many people into my life for a reason. And one I can think of the top of my head is just like Lakin. She has brought so much insight like outside perspective into my life and I just she's been such a great friend someone that I can truly count on to give me good practical advice someone that's not just there to use me as a friend or I don't know but she gets me and I get her and I don't know why I'm throwing this in here but she's been a great friend like probably one of the greatest friends that I've had and we have not even known each other for that long but it's so hard to find someone that genuinely cares about you and wants to see you succeed but is also just there for you all the time like with anything and I truly appreciate that because I feel like I I do have some great friends but I feel like The way we've connected on a deeper level has just been, been very, I've been very fortunate for that lately. And we don't, we live so far away, but it's almost like we don't because we're so connected. And that's one thing too that I've struggled with, like lately is just having those deep, meaningful conversations with people. And it's hard. Like I, I do have that sense of loneliness sometimes. A lot of the time actually and I think it just comes from like just not wanting to get out of my comfort zone and meet and have those like hard meaningful conversations with people but they've been I don't know I don't know how to explain it but she has been a great friend to me and I'm excited for her to move back I don't know why I went off on that little tangent there but I'm very very excited for what's to come for myself and for those around me for those that I'm coaching for those that I will coach in the near future I just want them all to know that I am constantly pouring into myself um not just within within like learning um things about fitness, health, all of that, but just learning more about myself and what I can do to make myself better, a better listener, a better learner, a better friend, a better coach, a better mentor, a better leader, a better friend, a better girlfriend, a better daughter, a better sister. All of these things that I am really diving deep on so that I can be there for everyone else. Just know that it's going to take time, but like, I'm like this deep work is so needed and I think me pulling away from my job like I said focusing on me solely is going to just be so amazing for myself so I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here um it's very difficult for me to have long episodes talking by myself also my voice is a little yuck from the weekend but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I know it was a little bit all over the place but I kind of wanted to just do a little episode on just not letting others opinions get to you focusing on your path and things you 
can do to not let that outside noise distract you or bring you down. So with that being said, I appreciate you all listening and please leave a review if you're on apple podcast you can leave a five-star review leave some comments too because i don't have any comments just straight reviews um i appreciate it also share with your friends family share on your instagram stories i want to hear people listening to it and if you guys liked it like always dm me because i love the dms that i've gotten from the ones thus far so i hope you all have a great weekend because it'll be friday when you're listening to this and i will see you all in the next episode kisses